beside the pool, Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf by Roald Dahl. As soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw his sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and Wolfie said, May I come in? Poor Grandma was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But Grandma was small and tough. And Wolfie wait, that's not enough. I haven't yet begun to feel that I've had a decent meal. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. He even brushed and curled his hair then sat himself in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped, she stared and then she said, What great big ears you have, Grandma! All the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma! All the better to see you with. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, what a lovely great big furry coat you have on. That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgotten to tell me what big teeth I've got? Ah, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles, one eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head and bang, 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 she shoots him dead. A few weeks later in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. But what a change, no cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and do please know, my lovely furry wolfskin coat, thank you.